Oh, hey, by the way, you're doing the intro on this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, kids and coaches. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Make sure to call them mother truckers. Too, I don't call like you that. mother truckers. I don't think it's very polite. Um, all right. Been sitting on this one for a while. Jesse gave me this uh, Melee 3 almost a year ago. And I've been meaning to do a video of it. So I bought a brand new 27 to compare. Uh, Jesse's gonna show you the uh, testing uh, pictures here in a second. I'll tell you now, the 28 ounce is testing in at 175. And it has every bit of 600 hits on it because I've been beating the crap yes. out of it. This one, new and wrapper, see photo below. Uh, it's testing at 215. So it's not gonna take us very much to get them where they need to be. Um, but I've been gaming it, the 28 ounce. Super balanced, feels great. I like them better than the two pieces. The two pieces, if you guys know, chip pretty easily. These ones showing no sign of any wear whatsoever. So we're gonna hit the 27 new first, and then show for fun this one. Back on old Minor Field here in Moberly, Missouri. It's basically 290 all the way around, and it was freaking hot outside. Steady breeze blowing in from right center, as usual on the field. About 10 miles an hour, uh, most of the time we were here. Ow. Hitting a mix of <laughs> Evil BP Rockets and Dudley Thunder Z and Pro M's for this video. Since all the seniors hit is hard stuff, that's all we wanted to hit with the videos. The one in the first part of the video here is a 27 ounce, and the other one is a 28. Both of these are balanced. And as far as swinging true to weight, I, it is kind of borderline. They swing ridiculously smooth. Like if you're wanting to go balanced but keep some distance, as if you were coming from like a half ounce inload or something, I would recommend going up an ounce just because of that. But I still struggle even with that to create any distance at all. If something's super, super balanced, I have a really hard time with creating distance. But when it comes to control, it's 12 out of 10. So not hating on the weight, but if you like a balanced bat, you're gonna enjoy this thing 1,000%. You guys care if I sit and watch? What's that? Go for it. Oh, go for it, dog. I've watched a lot of your videos. I want to see how it goes. All right. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah. I watched a lot of your videos. <laughs> I appreciate that. You never know what you run into somebody, do you? <laughs> it is a one piece, and the whole bat was pretty stiff, and the 13 inch barrel on it had a soft, sweet spot. I love how the barrel feels on these one piece Sun Coasts. And while we're discussing the barrel, I do want to mention, just in case someone asks, I always try and cover it in the videos where we do these senior bats. The stick and spin barrel coating doesn't do much for me for my game, but I'm primarily someone who spins a ball a lot anyway. More than anything, you'll see from our guest swings coming in here in a minute, as well as some of mine, the top and side spin looks wild. If I manipulate my hands to get a certain result out of my swing, the ball will have all kinds of wild side spin on it. And if you hit it in the face pretty hard, it's gonna knuckle for days. Personally, I could go without the coating on the bat, but obviously they've gotten enough feedback to want to include it on the bats. So it's their bat, they're gonna be able to do what they want with it. I guess I'll let them do it because the bat's still freaking sweet. So looking at compression, you saw what it was in the beginning. Just going with U-trip numbers here, just because it's something that everybody's familiar with already. This thing was sitting at like 213, and after the 80-ish swings we put on it, we saw it drop not even 10 pounds. That was kind of a surprise to me, but it was also extremely hot outside, so maybe the ball's being warmer than normal. I played a little bit of a factor there for it to only drop this much in compression. The barrel softened up a ton from when we started. Compression testing really isn't relevant in the senior world. They don't test bats or do anything like that. But this is when the compression tester is a nice tool for us to be able to get a gauge on a bat when it comes to how it's going to break in, kind of where it's starting at performance-wise, and where it might end up because uh, sometimes a bat can fool you into thinking one thing when it might be another, or you could have a suspicion of a case where we had with the Anarchy bat a while back that we just did a review on, where we thought that thing was going to be feeling compression, and it wasn't. It was actually still sitting way above it, but it's nice to have the compression tester for a nice tool for things like that. So even though there's nothing relevant when it comes to compression testing with the senior stuff, we still include it for stuff like that. Trying to get some action in? Trying to get some action in? 
Like, come hit. Well, you never know who you might run into. Found a, found a random follower hanging out past the doing an archery shoot. He's going to win this thing tomorrow. <laughs> so he's going to come out here and show us how it's done with a bat today. So I've had lots of random encounters on this channel before with all kinds of different people, whether it be during a video, after a video, at the ballpark, whatever. But this is the first time we've ever had somebody just randomly roll up and say, uh, hey, you might have to sit and watch you guys. I watch your videos and I enjoy them. So that was really freaking cool. So shout out to our guy, Dustin Roan from Novinger, Missouri. This was a really cool experience. I really like that. Uh, he was outgoing enough to come up and approach us, hang out with us, do a little bit of hitting. And also want to say congratulations, man. He said he shot really well on Saturday in his little bow shoot. And then on Sunday, he took first place, according to his wife, who followed up with me. So we were able to get in contact with him because he's going to want to see this video because he can tell the kids, Dad's on YouTube now for being such a spur of the moment thing. He did a hell of a job. So I want you guys in the comments down below to say, hey, nice job, Dustin. Uh, we'll have also some swings of his featured in another video coming up here soon. This is a super cool experience. Thanks to Dustin for... Uh, being outgoing, coming out, hanging out, watching the videos, and getting some action in. And I personally think he did a hell of a job hitting, especially for being put on the spot with something like this. Okay, so that's all the bat. I don't know what, I don't know what his review is going to be because that was this. This guy sitting here, muscles popping out everywhere, Shit. saying, oh, it's just the bat. Shit. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to go over there. Nope, that's what the screen's for. <laughs> Well, hey, hey, we need more random people to show up and hit. BP to get better. Hey, thanks for having me. Hey, no problem, dude. Thanks for watching the videos. We appreciate it. Good meeting you. Yeah. Oh, no, we're still hitting. Okay. All right. Yeah, I was like, man, this man's going to sit here and hit. He's a player. Let him play. So, we're going to check out my last handful of swings from this 27 ounce, and then we will move into the 28 ounce. And I'll kind of give my overall thoughts of what I think of this bat in general. And then kind of talk about some of the differences and kind of what you can expect if you're going to put a bunch of swings on one to get it broken in and see what these things are all about. Oh, misses, you know, stunts. Missed the top fence. <laughs> Dude, it just rode. Oh, I just gotta go up and out. Yeah. It's, I gotta do one of the two. Alright, we're gonna swing 28. The well broken in 28. So all transparency and bias and everything else aside, yes, I love One Piece bats. Yes, I think Suncoast bats are really good. And obviously this is a senior bat, so I'm going to try not to get uh, too bought into this. But I felt this way about this Suncoast senior bats for a while now, even clear back when they were Adidas. I personally think that these are some of the best senior bats that money can buy. And I do prefer the One Piece over the Two Piece with these bats, not just even from me being a one piece fan they have a better overall feel to them and they're even more forgiving than the two piece bats in my opinion but that's definitely variable to change especially when uh it's me going from someone that's in their mid 30s to uh, someone that's a senior may not swing as hard as me might benefit from a little better feedback from a two piece bat but i do prefer the one piece over the two but in general these things are just absolutely ridiculous performers out of the wrapper you saw this thing was extremely good and it got better with every swing and here hitting this 28 ounce, I really wish we could have seen what kind of distance Snacks was able to get out of this thing because he was hitting the ball really well on this day, but the wind was blowing straight in his face. So there's really not a whole lot you can do with that, which is kind of a bummer. But all in all, I'm just here to tell you, you cannot lose with these bats. Suncoast makes, in my opinion, the best senior bats on the market. And yes, I understand that I don't swing a ton, but from what I have swung, these are the go-to play for sure, especially the one-piece melee line. Six. Finish on a hit at least. Oh, you're swinging. I got the other bag. I don't want to break Finish out the other bag. 
I won't break out the other bag. I'm just gonna throw them all. I'm, I'm throwing all six of these. Two of the best pitches that you could have hit today are right there. I'm trying to get you to swing. Stop it. Stop it. Well, you said you weren't gonna hit them. I'm, I said I'm throwing them anyway. Stop. <laughs> The wind knocked it down. <laughs> so with that last bit of shenanigans out of the way here, I want to say thanks again to Snacks for driving uh, good ways to get to me so we could get some reviews in. Big thanks to Dustin for the improv appearance on the video. He did a hell of a job. And for just being outgoing, reaching out, saying, hey, what's up, man? I know I probably sound like a broken record because I've mentioned that several times in the video, but I, I just want to say again, like, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. If it wasn't for the followers that I have, we wouldn't have the uh, channel that we do. So thanks for everything that you guys do. I hope you enjoyed this video as well as all the other ones and all the ones are going to be coming. I'm going to let you check out the last couple of swings from the video here. Swing hard in case you hit it. BP Hero, catch you next time. I'm done.